With me now is Democratic Congresswoman Susan Del Bene of Washington. She's the vice chair of the House Ways and Means Committee, and she's also the chair of the New Democrat Coalition. So, Congresswoman, I think you just heard um, Jolene Kent there uh, reporting here. You, Congress is obviously working on a couple of these really big spending plans, but you've also got Americans worried about kind of more local economic issues to them personally, things like uh, inflation and making sure that their holiday spending is under control. How do you how do you sort of balance those issues that people are having with the work that Congress is doing right now? How do you convince folks that you are listening and are addressing those those problems that are hitting people's pocketbooks right now? Well, we are very focused on the economic issues that families are facing right now. And part of the challenge is that um, we're really seeing the exposure of a lack of investment in the past. Um, things like infrastructure, investments in our supply chain that would help get goods to market more quickly or components to manufacturers so they can get goods out. Um, these aren't new issues. These are issues that became worse through the pandemic. And we do need to address those. Um, make sure that we are making investments in infrastructure. Um, thanks to the bill that the president signed yesterday, those investments start right away and will have a long-term impact. But we also need to make sure we're making investments in our families, lifting children out of poverty, making sure we're addressing climate, um, making sure that we're helping with housing and childcare. Um, those are all things that are hitting families right now. And we were behind before the pandemic. So this is not only an opportunity to catch up, it is an opportunity to get ahead and build back better. I know you can hit on those things if you pass this bill. I don't have to tell you the deadlines have come and they have gone on passing Build Back Better out of the House. Now Speaker Pelosi says you guys aren't going home until you pass this bill. What's your sense of the timeline here over the next couple of days and actually having a vote on this legislation in the House? Well, I think right now the hope is to have the vote maybe Thursday or Friday. We could also be working here over the weekend. Um, folks are waiting for the Congressional Budget Office numbers to come in with that final piece of information so that um, some members who are waiting on that have the data that they need. But we really know because of the work we've done in the House, we many of these issues have been well vetted. Um, we've had hearings, et cetera. So I think it's an important time for folks to decide and um, hopefully we'll be able to have that vote as soon as Thursday, um, but we'll get it, as the speaker said, we want to get this vote done before the holiday. There are indications that the CBO is going to come back and say that the provision here about going after uh, people who aren't paying their fair share of taxes, the IRS enforcement provision, might not bring in as much money as Democrats believe it will. If that number falls short, if this bill falls short on paper of being fully paid for, will that affect your vote? Will that affect the votes of members of the new Democrat coalition? Well, I actually think we have a lot of data already. There's the numbers that come from the CBO, which are going to be estimates. They have to provide data within a certain framework that they are required to follow. And I think we know that um, many of the investments we make, for example, in the child tax credit, lifting children out of poverty, they give us a long-term return. In fact, a return outside of the window the CBO looks at. Um, lifting kids out of poverty is something that will help us for decades to come. And so I think it's up to individual members to look at the data and to understand the broad implications, which I think folks are doing, which is why um, the CBO score alone does not tell us whether or not we should make a vote. I think making sure we're making strong investments in families and workers and communities where we're going to get a strong return, um, that's what's important. And that's why I support the legislation. Congresswoman, I need a quick answer to this, because if I go over time, a trap door opens under my chair and I just drop right out of the building here. But Politico is reporting right now that there will be a vote on censuring Paul Gosar, the Republican from Arizona, perhaps as early as tomorrow. Is that something you can confirm for us? Do you support that? Does more need to be done to discipline him uh, as a member? I hadn't heard that, but I do think we should hold him accountable. Um, what he posted was awful and is something no member of Congress, um, we shouldn't see that from people at all. No member of Congress should have posted something like that. All right, Congresswoman Susan Delbeni of Washington.